Hi, I'm Paul Asbell with the Archtop Foundation, and we are looking at Chinnery Archtops from the Chinnery Collection. This one is by John Zeidler. And um, I'll talk a little bit about the guitar, and then I'll talk a little bit about um, John generally. The, uh, what, one of the things you notice right away is that unlike some of the almost no metal on the guitar guitars, this one has a lot of metal, and it's not just metal, but highly ornately, um, I guess, etched, engraved, maybe that's the right word. Um, it's all over the place. There's, I'm holding this up so you can see the piece that is in the uh, tailpiece, but on the sides of the tailpiece, there are um, more of the same. Where the strings come through, there's plenty of it there. I'm guessing, yeah, you can probably see it there. The, even the thumb wheels, which is, you know, kind of a functional part of most guitars, even them, uh, they have been uh, etched. And then, of course, the truss rod cover has been uh, engraved. And the buttons and the, um, I'm not sure exactly what these are called, but the pieces, the plates of the tuning pegs have been uh, engraved. So he was a, apparently a professional uh, metal worker as well as, of course, a woodworker. So he used this as his sort of, to show off his signature skills, uh, which he clearly had a lot of, and I'm sure more than um, other of the builders. It's, uh, as a result, it's not a light guitar, but it's not heavy either. None of these guitars are really that heavy, but this is not one of the lighter ones. Um, Jod was uh, beloved by the uh, community of uh, Archtop builders. I can certainly say from personal experience that a good, um, they really are a guild of uh, uh, largely friends and uh, thought highly of one another and still continue to do so, all of the ones that I've met. And uh, when John passed, um, there was a guitar built that was uh, a tribute for him and uh, 10 of the build of the approximately 20 uh, builders um, who were represented in the Chinnery collection were actually part of that guitar that was made. So I think that's kind of a tribute to how well he was thought of uh, within the community. Mm -hmm.